Hello everyone, welcome to Ageless Wrong. I showed you some calculations that it is impossible for human to build Khufu's pyramid. In this video, I will show you the mathematically impossible calculation for Khufu's pyramid. Khufu's pyramid is almost as big as Khufu's pyramid, but this site is famous for its controversial things. The entire Khafre's funerary site might take a whole day to fully comprehend the magnitude of this project. Giza Pyramid Complex consists of three main pyramids. Khufu, Khafre and Menkori Pyramids are perfectly aligned to True North. Khafre's funerary has the famous Sphinx. With a square base of 46,255 meters square, and a height of 144 meters tall, this pyramid commands the engineering feat of stacking 2.2 million cubic meter volume of limestone blocks that has the famous Pythagoras theory incorporated. Based on the dimensions given, the pyramid of Khafre has a ratio similar to Pythagoras theorem. Is this a coincidence or an advanced knowledge 2000 years ahead of Pythagoras? remains debatable. With the volume of 2.2 million cubic meters and limestone density of 2.5 tons per cubic meter, the ancient Egyptians will have to manage a staggering 5.5 million tons of megaton megablocks. Stacking 5.5 million tons of limestone to a perfect 53 degree angle within Pythagoras theory is highly doubtful a human achievement 4,600 years ago. The megaton blocks were cut into same height shows that there was a machine used to mass produce them. Based on volume, if each block is 1 meter cube, the Nubians will need 2.2 million blocks. With that rough estimate, you can imagine if you were to stack the blocks side by side, you can start from New York and reach somewhere near Mexico City. Look at the mind-boggling project of stacking megalithic casing stones we cannot do today. It looks more from a distance. Each block is about the size of a human, and it was smooth and shines under the sun if seen from far in ancient time. When wheels were not yet invented, moving anything that weighs one ton is a challenge. So human instinct is to break it down to smaller units. However, in the case of the pyramids, the Nubians of Africa decided to increase the challenge of moving blocks by increasing them up to 10 tons. With the latest engineering tools we have today, we will find placing a small 2-ton megalith very challenging, let alone 5 to 10 tons. I think the ancient builders possessed technologies that made shaping and moving 10 tons trapezoidal megaliths easy. As if constructing one pyramid was not challenging enough, the Nubians actually built two of the same with some insignificant size and shape difference. Even more impossible is that it was done about the same time. Whoever in charge of this project has to actually oversee two pyramids under construction. At this scale of production, someone has to manage a copper mine to produce about 100 million chisels to deal with 12 million tons of megalithic stone blocks. Where is the mine? Where are the chisels? If ancient Egyptians can produce 12 million cubic meters of limestone blocks in about 30 years, I think a lot of properties will be built just by using stones. Their houses would have been made of solid stones and would have been all over Egypt. If there is a margin of 5% defects, there would have been 600,000 tons of limestone blocks that can be used for their home. Instead, they chose to live in mud brick houses. In fact, they still do that until today. I find that hard to believe. This father and son project of building pyramids is approximately 6 decades time frame. I cannot see how ancient Nubians can produce 12 million tons of limestone block within 6 decades. 6 decades is only a dot in the timeline of 4600 years. 
It is about 1% of Egyptian history. Did ancient Egyptians do the impossible and then regressed for the next 99% of their existence? I don't think so. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed my presentation on Pyramid of Khafre. See you next time. May Asalamah.